competition is still up it the results are not out so we'll have that uh, those results later so that is for another innovation yes that is for another innovation good, good. Uh, at the very outset i want to express my gratitude to you dr mepal sajde for your constant encouragement and my teachers and mentors namta ma'am and rajesh sir because they've not only encouraged me for uh, these innovative endeavors but they've taught me the basics of ophthalmology uh i'll be talking about the negative disc photopsia ring this device uh, has a patent which is currently under review negative disc photopsia is a very peculiar and frustrating complication because it affects those eyes where the surgeon has done a phenomenal job on the table so the patient is 6 by 6 and n6 but is still unhappy and as against popular belief the incidence is actually quite high 3% uncomplicated pseudophakics need some kind of intervention for managing negative disc photopsia it is a neglected entity for a long time it was well defined by dr davison in the year 2000 and for a decade and half it was uh, slightly uh, neglected in the clinical practice credit goes to dr samuel masket dr holiday and simpson who finally arrived at a comprehensive theory of causation of negative disc photopsia simply put it is a dark shadow in the peripheral field which is perceived as an obstacle to complete field of vision patients may call it a dark veil or a horse blinder like obstruction some less perceptive indian patients specially describe it as the lateral part of their eyelids sticking to each other obstructing the temporal view as opposed to the clear concept of causation of negative disc photopsia there is a stark contrast in the management options which have always remained counseling tricks or life hacks you see life hacks are taken as replacement for actual solutions when the actual ones are too arduous laborious or ineffective which has been the case with all these options that have been available in the past in the current day practice when a patient comes to us with cloudy vision and difficulty to read the surgeon is very prompt very confident and uh, you know excited to advise a state of the art cataract surgery technology that has virtually no morbidity when the patient expects that he will be able to see spectacle free from far to near we have the trifocals to the rescue and we are very excited while advising them when the patient gets this trifocal and comes back to you with a black shadow which is extremely nagging and wants it treated our first response is counseling which is a right response we tell them to wait and watch and usually that will get better with time but when it hasn't got better with time and the patient is glaring at your face and asking you what to do now then you have a feeble response where you say that maybe we could try one of these tricks and at last you have to cut a sorry figure when the patient tells you to make sure that it doesn't happen in the other eye so we needed an efficacious safe and easy solution nd ring went through different stages of its evolution we began with computerized models in optical designing softwares to understand the etiology and then modeled a sulcus implant to see the behavior of temporal peripheral rays passing through this ring then a prototype was designed and the surgical technique was formalized the surgery is very easy to do and takes less than 3 minutes a 2.2 mm port and a side port are required the ac is filled with ovd opening the access to sulcus and the ring is loaded by folding it like a taco and injected into the ac once the ring is in the ac it takes about 15 seconds to uh, take its form and then a sinski hook can be used to tuck the ring shaped haptics into the sulcus now this device is designed specially so that a large amount of uh, a large variation of sulcus sizes can be managed through a single free sized implant post operative outcomes are very encouraging on the very first post operative day the eye is always quiet and the ring rests on the anterior capsule covering it 360 degree and when you shine a temporal thin slit through a mesopic pupil it illuminates the nasal part of the ring so that is how it actually acts this gap 
between the iris and the anterior optic of the IOL is about 0.5 mm, 500 microns on an average. And this 250 micron thick ring sits on the anterior capsule comfortably. We've completed a clinical study that had two groups. The therapeutic group uh, involved secondary implantation, a second procedure to treat negative dysphotopsia in pseudophagic patient, and a preventive group, which was for those patients who were suffering from negative dysphotopsia in one eye. And while they were undergoing the second eye surgery, ND ring was implanted in the same sitting as the IOL. And we've had encouraging results. It is 100% successful with no post-operative adverse events. So we've established a new paradigm in managing negative risk photopsia, which is very easy and clocks an average time of less than three minutes, is injected through the same incision and is universal in size, not requiring any white-to-white -white measurements. The mechanism of action is very uh, simply put in three steps. The central rays go through the ring to the intraocular lens completely unaffected because the central 5 mm aperture is clear. The rays from temporal periphery undergo refraction through the edge and illuminate the nasal shadow area. And the ring blocks the light rays at high incidence angles from falling on the anterior capsule, thus taking care of the capsular excess overlap hypothesis. It's very ironical that today we promise eagle vision from near to distance in managing negative dysphotopsia is still done with hacks. Cataract surgery rates are increasing at 4.5% annually and ND is a major cause of unhappy outcomes. A burden of 6 lakh new patients is added every year to suffer hopeless. So we need a reliable solution so that the surgeon is confident in managing negative dysphotopsia. The bottom line is that it is an iatrogenic effect and the patient comes to us in hope of a solution for diminished vision, ends up in exchange with a nagging complication. The take home message is that negative dysphotopsia is an important cause of dissatisfaction among uncomplicated pseudophagics, and you will find it if you suspect it. ND ring is 100% effective so far, is affordable and user friendly. It does not require any additional skills or instrumentation and it can be implanted along with the IOL surgery in the same sitting to prevent negative dysphotopsia. Let's have a look at this patient testimonial and see how it affects practice. So finally, this patient had respite after three months when he underwent the endearing implantation the very next day. He finally had his smile back on his face. Thank you. And uh, for any more information, you could scan these QR codes for more information on negative dysphotopsia and the NDR. Thank you.